Okay. Let me see. Now, um, <clears throat> Gamil says there is no validity to a bill of divorce after a bill of divorce. Not to mama after mama. Not to cohabitation after cohabitation. Not to kalitza after kalitza. The Chachamah, however, say there is validity to a bill of divorce after a bill of divorce and to mama after mama. But after cohabitation and or after kalitza, there is nothing. How so? If he performed mama with his Yavama and then gave her a bill of divorce, she required Kalitza from him. If he performed mama with her and then Kalitza, she requires a bill of divorce from him. If he performed mama and then cohabitated with her, he had... If he gave her a bill of divorce and then mama, she requires a bill of divorce and Kalitza. If he gave her a bill of divorce and then cohabitated with her, she requires a bill of divorce and Kalitza. If he gave her a bill of divorce and then Kalitza, there is nothing after Kalitza. If he performed Kalitza with her and then performed Mama with her or gave her a bill of divorce with her, or if he cohabitated with her and then performed Mama and gave her a bill of divorce or performed Kalitza with her, there is nothing after Kalitza. It is the same whether it is one Yavama or one Yavam or two Yavamos and one Yavam. Okay, okay. so now comes Mishnah Dalit. And starts diving into the case of okay, let's see what happens if you have uh, if you have two uh, two Yavamas, right? In other words, two widows from one from one brother. Okay, Ketza. Okay, so let's see how the how does that work. Asa mama bazo. So if he did mama with with one of them, so he's now made a he's made a condition with her derivana. Umama bazo, and then he goes and does the same thing to the other one. Okay, so what's he going to have to do with them? Well, each of them now, because each one has had a mama with him, each one's going to need to get to cancel out the, the mama. And furthermore, he hasn't done anything about the, the requirement for Yibum or Chalitza, so therefore he's going to do, have to do Chalitza with one of them. So, Okay, what happens if he does mama, bazov, or get bazov? He gives mama to one and a get to the other. Well, all he's got to do is he's going to have to give a get to the one he, he did mama to. And the reason why, so why can't he marry her? Because if he'd done mama, then the next thing naturally would be to marry her. Okay, but because he's already given a get to the sister, it now looks like it's achos grusha mm -hmm. So therefore he's not allowed to carry her to complete the marriage with her. And therefore um, he needs to give a get to the one he gave mama to, and then he needs, still needs to do a chalitza on one of them. Okay, tzricha get ve chalitza. Mama bazo ubal isazo. So he did mama to the one, and then he hadn't re had relations to the other with the relations with the other one. No, no. Okay, <laughs> bit of a mistake. So, so the same. So, so the beila. First of all, the beila is considered a beila. So the nurse, it doesn't work for even on a on a Doraisa level because on a Doraisa level, what you in in order to complete a marriage is to you'd you need to have relations with the woman. But um, but since he uh, since he has started out with Mama, which is the which is the correct thing to do with the one woman, then the other woman becomes Asa to him on a Durabana level. And as soon as she becomes Asa to him on a Durabana level, then even the Doraisa Kenyan of of of, of Be'ila doesn't work. Uh -huh. okay. okay. And now he's going to need to give a um, so he's going to need need to give a, a get to both women because it looks like both in in both cases. He has attempted to, to marry the woman. So it says, Each one needs a get because of the uh, because of either the mama or the bila, and then they still need a chalitza to, to both, release them. Both need uh, um, chalitza. No, you only need chalitza on one. On one, okay. Well, the, the, way, the way you were saying it, I thought it sounded like two bills of divorce and, and the two, two bills of divorce and one chalitza. You never okay. need more than one chalitza because as soon as as soon as one woman one widow has had a chalitza, the other one is automatically freed. Right. Uh, okay. Mama bazo. Sorry, I was just sipping my coffee. Um, Mama bazo okay. So if he did mama to one and then did chalitza to the second one, well, his chalitza to the second one is going to be effective. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now all that's left is that the the, the first woman he did a kiddushin on, he's got to now give her a get. So all he needs to do is Harishana Tricha get. Get Lazo, the get Lazo. He gives a get to both women instead of giving them Chalitza. Well, okay, he hasn't done any harm. All he has to do is not give them, is still give them a Chalitza. Tricha Semen a Chalitza. Get Lazo, Balitza. If he gave a get to one and had relations with the other one, okay, so then, uh, so then he's going to need a get and a Chalitza because the one who had relations with is going to need a get from him. 
and they still need chalitza. Get the zoo mamer bazo. If you gave one a get and then did mamer to the second one, so the one with the get, no harm done, but the one with the with the mamer is going to need a get now. So she needs a get to a get a chalitza. Get lezo v'chalitza. So if he gave a get to the one and gave a chalitza to the other one, well, the get he didn't do any harm to, and the chalitza, well, that's what needs to be done. So ein acha chalitza klum. There's nothing else required. The chalitza has released them both. Okay. Mishnah uh, hey chalitz v'chalitz uchalitz v'asa mamer v'nasan get ubal. So once he once he's done the chalitza first. Everything is going, there's nothing else that happens afterwards. The chalitza immediately releases both women, and then anything that he does with them, even if he has relations with them, it's a rebeilas znus, it's not, a, it's not effective on anything. Okay, or baal, or if he has relations with one of them. Remember, re relations is the way of, of affecting, of affecting yibo. Baal, or baal, or baal, or baal, or baal, or Nasan get the chalats. If he if he has relations with one and then does anything with the second one, the second one is a is a, is a meaningless act because the first one is his wife. As soon as he's done the on the first one with the, with, in, with intention to do yibum, that's it. It's done. En archa chalitza klum. Ben yavam echad l'shtei yivamos. Ben shnei yivamim l'vam achas. So now we say that that um, this is the case whether it's one yavam handling these two yivamos or if you've got two yivamim. With two Yavamas. Okay, now we're going to. Um, um, oh no, we're not. We're not yet moving into the into the multiple Yavamim. Okay, Mishnah Vav Chalat Vasa Mamar Nasan Get Ubal. If he did Chalitza and then did a Mamar and gave a and gave a Get or had relations or Baal Vasa Mamar Vasan Get the Chalats and Achar Chalitza Kum. Then so as we just saw in the in the previous Mishnah, um, the first the, the first act of Chalitza invalidates anything that comes after it because the Chalitza is the end of the story. So is the Beila. So is the Beila. If that's the first thing, if that's the first thing that happens, okay. Bein Batachila Bein Beemza Bein Besof. Whether it's uh, whether it's at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Now we're going to have to understand what does the Mishnah mean by beginning, middle, or end. Okay. Ben uh, so Kahati explains, Shechalat Tachila v'achakach asa mama v'nasan. Yet, so that's the, the case that we learned last Mishnah, where the first thing he did was giving chalitza. Or Ben Ba'emtza, Kugon, Shechalat get the v'chalat v'asa mama. So if he first gave a get, and then in the middle he gave a chalitza and, and then did the mama, because the mama, that's after the chalitza it doesn't doesn't do anything and okay, does not right. require and does not require get to uh, uh, to release her. Then so, she asked a mamar v'nasan get. If he first did a mamar and then gave a get and then he did chalitza, okay. There's nothing else after that. Okay, uh, this is specifically talking about that that case where he has where he has uh, given the get after the after the mamar, um, but. Uh, and if, so if he then goes ahead and does another mamar afterwards, it's uh, it's invalid. Nothing nothing happened. Okay, Okay, and um, as far as having uh, as far as having relations with uh, with the Avam is concerned, if it's the first thing done, okay, because that's the that's the act that that completes the 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 kibbutz. Okay, but emta, uh, for example, if he gave a get first, or had um, or and then gave and then had relations, or the or um and, and um or basof, okay, for example, if he gave a get and did a mama and then had relations, yes yes acharayaklum, because the the bia is a bia psula, as soon as soon as he has done uh. Um, a, a given her a get or um, or done a, as soon as he, as soon as he gave her a get first um, or is there anything else would be a pasula it, because it's a yeah because it's a be a pasula um, there's still a, there's still a uh, um, so be a pasula he adain zikas yibum aleha he tshicha chalitza so she still needs a she still needs a chalitza so even though um, he, if the if the starting act was a get, um, 
the what's happened now is is he's made him he's made the woman asa to him and once uh, and once she's asa to him then the be'ila cannot be a be'ila of uh, of yibum and therefore she's the woman is still going to require uh, a get or a chalitza uh, and a chalitza for that matter okay rabbi nachemi omer achas be'ila achas chalitza he says it makes no difference whether it's be'ila or chalitza so Rabbi Nehemia says uh, she goes out, uh, she goes out with a get without a chalitza. She doesn't need a chalitza because Rabbi Nehemia views the whole thing on the daraisa level. He says that that if you if you're yotze on the daraisa level, then it is actually even though Midra Abanan he wasn't allowed to marry her. If he, if he nonetheless went ahead and did a and did a be'ila for the yibum, then on a daraisa level, then she then she's his wife. And now all that we're going to require is that he gives her a get. She doesn't need chalitza at this point. Is this says Rabbi Kama says whether it is a cohabitation or chalitza, right? Whether uh, uh, whether it has yeah. That, that, so the argument the argue, the, because um, the chalitza, everyone agrees that once the chalitza is done, it's it's all done, and there's no there's no dispute about where the chalitza works on on the woman. The, the dispute is about be'ila, mm-hmm. if he has relations with her. Um, because you, you understand the point of departure over here is that, um, remember the whole, one of the important things to, to do in, in Yavamos is to be able to, to have a split view of what's happening with the Yavama, because there's a Durabonan level and then there's the Duraisa level. You've got to put on your, if you put on your Durabonan glasses, You'll see that uh, um, the woman needs, uh, you know, who's been given a get, and she needs really what she really needed was a chalitza. But he gave her a get, so therefore now he's asked her to marry her. No. But if you take off your Durabanan glasses and just put on the Duraisa glasses and say, but what's really happening? Duraisa. He gave her a get. The get was meaningless. Now he has relations with her. Ah, that's exactly what the Torah wanted him to do. Now she's his wife. That's Rabbi Nehemia. Rabbi Nehemia says, okay, forget about the get. He wasn't right. supposed to do it. You know, on a Durabanan level, we'll talk about the Durabanans later, but on the Doraisa level, he had relations with her. She's now his wife. Now, if you now because on back back to the Durabanan level, we're not going to allow him to live with her because he already gave her a get and now this doesn't look right. So now he needs to give her another get. Chalitza, does she need Chalitza? No, that was his wife. He gives her, he gives her a divorce. The co-wives are also free. Okay. But Chachamim say, Rabbi Nehemia, we don't separate that hardly, that, 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 that clearly between Durabanan and Duraisa. Once she becomes Asa to him, Durabanan, then the Be'ila is no longer a Be'ila of Yibum, it's a Be'ilas Znus. He's having relations with her, not on the, and it's not, and it's not consummating the Yibum Duraisa. Therefore, the relations are null and void. But to the, to, the, to the extent of not, not making, uh, affecting a yibum, uh, 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 um, not affecting yibum, but he, she still needs a get from him, and she needs chalitza. Okay, so that's what that's the argument between. It's the a get from him because she because she lived with her, and so that means that we're married. But now he needs to give her a get and and and. and the, you see, the, the the point being that that she that she, he never acquired her properly as as his wife through yibum. Because okay. the because the be'ila was a be'ilas znus, okay. And therefore, and therefore, it wasn't a proper Kenyan. So Chachamim say they, they, that that she and her co-wives still need need chalitza. Okay. 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 Uh, gimel gimel. Gimel gimel. If one of them was forbidden to to one brother by the erev um, prohibition, and the second was forbidden to the other by brother by erev prohibition. The one forbidden to his brother is permitted to the other brother, while the one forbidden to that brother is permitted to his brother. This is what is meant by the statement, if her sister is a follower of Amma, she may either perform Kalitsu or be taken in Yibo. If there were three brothers and two of them were married to two sisters and a woman and a daughter or a daughter's daughter or a son's daughter, they require Kalitsu but may not be taken in Yibo. Reb Shimon, however, releases them. If one of them was forbidden to him by the Erva uh, prohibition, he is forbidden to her, but permitted to her sister. If it was a prohibition by commandment or because of a sanctity, uh, she requires Kalitza, but may not be taken in evil. If there were three brothers and two of them were married to two sisters, while one was unmarried, if the husband of one of the sisters died and the married, unmarried one performed the mama with her and his second brother died, then Beit Shammai says his wife remain, remains with him, while the other one is in charge as his wife's sister. 
But Bechilo says he must send away his wife with both a divorce and a kalitza, and his brother's wife with kalitza. About this it was said, woe to him concerning his wife, and woe to him concerning his brother's wife. If there were three brothers and two no, of them were done. done, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's it. Right. Yeah. Just have to get something on the shelf here. Yeah. Ribs still hurt. Olive Zion. There is no difference between a, a Zav who experiences two issues and one who experiences three, other than bringing an offering. There is a, no difference between a confined mitzvah and a confined and a confirmed mitzvah, except letting the hair grow wild and rending the garments. There is no difference between the laws pertaining to one who has pronounced cleansed after having been confined, and those pertaining to one who has pronounced cleansed after having been confirmed, except for shaving and bringing birds. There is no difference between the laws that pertaining to books of scripture and those pertaining to tefillin and mezuzahs, except that. Books of scripture may be written in any language, but the fillin and mezuzahs may be written only in Assyrian script. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamil says that even books of scripture were not authorized to be written except in Greek. There is no difference between the Kohen Gadol of anointed with the oil of anointment and the one who donned the additional vestments except the bull offered for violation of any of the precepts. And there is no difference between a Kohen Gadol who is serving and a Kohen Gadol who is no longer serving except that the bull offered on Yom Kippur and the tenth of the of the Afar. Okay? All right. All right. Good. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah. All we have over here. Okay. We have base. With, with, with three baskets of three set each, they withdraw the truma from the funds in the treasury chamber. On them were written the Hebrew letters Aleph base Gimel. Rabbi Yishmael says the Greek letters Alpha Beta Gamma were written on them. The one who withdraws the, the truma may not enter the treasury uh, chamber wearing a hem garment, nor with a shoe or sandal, nor with a fillin or oh, an amulet. The lest he becomes poor and people might say, because of the sin of stealing from the treasury chamber, he has become impoverished. Well, lest he become rich, and people might say he has enriched himself with the truma of the treasury chamber. For a person must please people in the same manner that he, that he must please the omnipresent. For it is said, and you shall be guiltless before Hashem and before Israel. And it also said, and find, and find favor, good understanding in the eyes of God and mankind. Each member of Rabbi Gamil's household would enter the treasury chamber with his half shekel between his fingers and throw it before the one withdrawing the tuma, tr truma. The one withdrawing the truma would purposely push it into the basket. The one making the withdrawal did not withdraw the truma until he had acquired, shall I withdraw the truma? And they had to apply to him, withdraw, 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 three times. After he had made the first truma withdrawal, he recovered the remaining money with leather covers. After the second withdrawal, he recovered the remaining money with leather covers. But after the third withdrawal, he did not cover the remaining money. The money is covered lest he forget and withdraw from an accumulation from which funds had already been withdrawn. He withdrew the first room on behalf of the inhabitants of Eretz Israel, the second on behalf of the inhabitants of the city surrounding it, and the third on behalf of the inhabitants of, um, of Babylon, Medea, and the distant countries. What did they do with the truma? That was done. That was then? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Shvius Gimel Ches. Okay. Um, one may not build steps by the ravines in the sixth year if the rains have ceased, because this would be preparing them for the seventh year. But he may build them in the seventh year after the rains have ceased, because this would be preparing them for the eighth year. He may not block them with earth, and he may not make an embankment, and any stone that he can take when stretching out his hand may be removed. Shoulder stones may be taken from anywhere, and a contractor may bring them from anywhere. Which are shoulder stones? That any any that not any that cannot be taken with one hand. So says Rebbeya. The Yossi says, as the name implies, those that are carried two or three on a shoulder. One who builds a wall, a wall between the, his own and the public domain may dig down to the rock. What shall I do with the earth? He heaps it on into the public domain and then restores it to order. 
So says Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Kiva says, just as one may not cause damage to the public domain, so also may not one restore it to order. With what shall he do with the earth? He heaps it up in his field in the manner of those who take out manure, and likewise if he digs a well, a trench, or a cave. And Okay, Caleb. Hey, Kaftal and Hey. There are three tabusim. The tabus of the blood letter is susceptible to becoming tummy with midrash tuma. The tabus on which people eat is susceptible to becoming tummy with corpse tuma. And any tabus of olives is tower from any form of tuma. Tuma. There are three bases, that which is in front of a bed and that which is in front of a scribe, susceptible to becoming tummy with midrash tuma. That of a del uh, delufic, no, delufki, is susceptible to becoming tummy with corpse tuma, and that of a cabinet is tahor from any form of tuma. There are three pin cases, an afiforin, that's susceptible to becoming tummy with midrash tuma, a pinkas that has a receptacle for wax is susceptible to becoming tame with corpse tumor, and a smooth pinkas is tower from any form of tumor. Hey, Marcos. Okay. All those liable to karas who are flogged become exempt from their karas, as it is said, and your brother will be dishonored before your eyes. Once he has been flogged, he is he as as your brother. These are the words of Penina ben Gamil. Says Penina ben Gamil. Now, if one who commits one transgression or forfeits, forfeits his soul thereby, one who performs one mitzvah, how much more should his soul be granted him? Reb Shimon says it is derived from its place, and it is said the souls that do them that do them shall be cut off, and also states which a man shall do and live by them. This means that whoever sits and refrains from committing a transgression is rewarded like one who performs a mitzvah. Rabbi Shimon, the Roman Rebbe says, it states, only be steadfast not to eat the blood, for the blood is the life. Now for blood, from which a person recoils, one who abstains from it is rewarded, theft of morality, immorality, which a person desires and covets. How much more will one who abstains from them merit for himself, his children and his grandchildren until the end of all generations? Rabbi Kanina ben Akasa. Excuse me? Rabbi Hanani ben Akashi Amai Ratsa Kadish Okay. You recognize that one? You've heard that before. Yeah. Okay, we have Shavuos. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, one mission of Shavuos. Hajan Allah was there as Mathis. It's in Moed, right? In um, no, no, no. Shabbos is in Mazikin. Oh, it's not. It's not Shavuot as in Lachag. It's Shavuot as in Nadarim. Both are two types, which are in reality four. Awareness of tumor is of two types, which is in reality four. Transfers on the Sabbath are of two types, which are in reality four. Appearances of the Sahara, Zavas, affliction are of two types, which are in reality four. And we'll find that about tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll find out more tomorrow, exactly. <laughs> Have a great day. Enjoy. Okay. I will see you then. Thank you. Be well. well. And bye. bye.